I'm Lee Chantel from VivaLaVegan.net and with me today is Harry Bowman and hey he's a vegan veteran. How are you Harry? <laughs> I am excellent. That's Lee good. Chantel. How are you? And very good also, thanks That's for good. asking. <laughs> And Harry's given a couple of interviews with me on his The Vegan Hour, mm -hmm. so I thought I'd um, return, return the, the favour. favour. Yes, <laughs> the favour is being returned. <laughs> now I'm in the hot seat. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Won't yeah. be too hot. Um, and so for people that don't know what The Vegan Hour is, can you mm -hmm. tell us? Yeah, well The Vegan Hour actually is an idea I came up with about um, three months ago. It's using the uh, ability of Facebook to live stream and to get people to interact in real time with guests that come on the show. Yeah. So for an hour I have somebody come on such as yourself, yeah. somebody that's vegan, that's um, got some interesting aspect to their life or maybe the business that they're in or whatever. Mm -hmm. And uh, people in real time can ask questions, which is fantastic. Mm. We get some really, like for instance, when James Aspie came mm. on, we get some really interested people coming on, asking a lot of different questions about the yeah. person and their vegan journey and so forth. So um, it's sort of filling a, a little bit of a an area there that maybe hadn't been uh, created before, mm. you know. So yeah, we're up to uh, this week, two, two nights ago, I did the 11th episode so yeah. we've been going for nearly three months yeah that's good yeah. and yeah. what day do you do that no uh, like? tuesday nights uh we have very little bit between monday and tuesday nights but we've uh, settled down into a tuesday night format 8 p.m on my uh facebook page which you'll probably be able to I'll link to, link to yeah. yeah and uh and yeah, that's we, australian time um eastern standard eastern australian standard time, time. Yep. 8 PM, 8 p.m. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So. So if you haven't seen that, and I'll link to the videos Harry and I have done together at the bottom of here. Those wacky videos. And, um, <laughs> yeah. Have a look at the yeah. future ones that are coming as yeah, well. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Next. Uh, well, the, we yeah, just who had. Yeah. got coming up? Well, two two nights ago we had Colleen uh, Chikitri, who is a vegan naturopath. Mm -hmm. So that's people were very interested in asking her uh, health related questions, yeah. of course. Um, next. Tuesday night we have Simone Jones who owns the Colonic Clinic. Now she's a vegan as well mm -hmm. and um, she's going to be talking about getting all the rubbish out of your body. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I that didn't know might if be I could... an interesting topic. <laughs> it could be. I didn't know <laughs> if I could use a more colourful um, adjective so we just um, we'll go with rubbish. Yeah. yeah. So you've got a variety of guests. Really. Definitely a variety yeah. of guests. We've got uh, yeah, we've got guests booked in for the next six weeks, and and oh. we've we've had guests from so far we've had guests from vegan musicians mm -hmm. to um, we've had James Aspie, which of course was the most popular. Mm -hmm. um, some of the people that we've got booked in, we've got uh, somebody who runs a cruelty-free clothing mm -hmm. um, and jewelry business. Yeah. Um, we've got um, some veteran vegans in their um, mm -hmm. 60s that are oh, coming on the show as yeah. well, a, hus a husband and wife, mm -hmm. so so yeah, got yeah. A, a range of different people. I'm, I'm looking for that variety and mm -hmm. you know, so that uh, people that are watching it can sort of go, oh, this applies to me, mm -hmm. for instance, and then they can ask questions because the person's uh, got similar interests yeah. or in the same age group or something, yeah. you know. And so. yeah, like one of the things Harry was saying about the benefits of the live stream on Facebook, if you don't know, is you can ask real mm. questions yeah. in real time yeah. to the person. And depending mm. on how many questions you get, it may or may not get <laughs> we had trouble. To it. <laughs> we had trouble keeping up when James was on because, uh, you know, James Aspie gets on there and the questions were just scrolling down so rapidly I was trying to keep hard up to with keep them. Up. Hard to keep up with and but a, you, lot, a lot of views. You can yeah. also watch the videos afterwards so yes. if you can't make it yeah. to the 8pm slot then um, have a look on your Facebook page and yep. also you've been uploading on them to YouTube. To YouTube channel. yes and, and yep. I'm constantly um, sort of working to improve and enhance the experience. Yep. So starting uh, two nights ago this week, uh, I started filming with the second camera mm. at the same time. So that gives us a better quality upload for YouTube. Mm. So, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. and that'll improve. I'll, I'll figure out other yeah. ways to, to enhance it. 
yeah. as time goes by. So. Yeah. Sounds good. Mm. And um, you also, we're at the Gold Coast here at the moment in Queensland, Australia. And it is magnificent. If you could see what I was looking at. <laughs> We've just got a canal at the background, so yeah, you, yeah. You, you won't be able to see that, but we can see it. <laughs> yeah, and that's all that matters. <laughs> and um, yeah. it's beautiful weather down here. It, it's chilly it today. It's but, a little bit cooler today, but yeah. we've, we've just had a run of, of quite beautiful nice weather. warm weather. Uh, I was doing a what we call a vegan luck in the park on Saturday yeah. just gone. And I was in... Gee, that was hot, wasn't it? Yeah, it was Saturday, a, yeah. I was in t-shirt and yeah. shorts. And I thought, it may as well be summer. It yeah, was definitely. 31 degrees, according to the car Celsius. thermometer, when yeah. I left at, at about 3 o'clock in the afternoon. And I drove home and it, and it dropped down around about 29. I yeah. thought, this is incredible. Yeah. This is winter. Yeah. Winter on the Gold Coast. Mm. <laughs> I don't, Where I else would you want to be? I said on one of my posts online, um, <laughs> about the beautiful weather it may be because we're in the sunshine state maybe because it's climate it's, change but either way I we're going to take it yeah <laughs> i do want actually i do in a, on a serious note i do wonder if there's a, an element of climate change it has to be in there because to be, this, to be this warm in winter, in winter like, here is yeah yeah that's a bit and silly. i actually keep an eye I, on the temperature i like to keep an eye on i have on my bicycle i have a thermometer mm -hmm. on my motorbike i have a thermometer i have one in the car and this winter has definitely not got down as cold as last winter, like uh, even in the cold parts. Yeah. Uh, I ride my bicycle uh, two winters ago, it got down to one degree. Mm. Well, the coldest I've seen it get to this winter so far on the bike, I think was three, no, four, I think, degrees. Mm. So yeah. it hasn't got down, and that's riding the same areas at the same time of the day. Mm. So, yeah. yeah. Having said that, tomorrow it'll probably <laughs> it'll be cold. You just probably do this cold thanks. snap. Be, ah! <laughs> and no. um, at the Gold Coast, <clears throat> there's lots and lots of vegan places to go to. It is it's got a great community. I mean, great picture, vibe. Picture, picture this. I mean, 36 years ago, mm. when I became vegan, there was one vegetarian place on the Gold Coast. Not vegan, just vegetarian yeah. place. Um, over the years, there was a couple of other vegetarian places came and went. There was no vegan places. Mm. The best I could do if I wanted to eat away from home was go to a vegetarian place and, and see what they had that was vegan there. And, and even the offerings, vegan offerings, wouldn't be a lot to mm. choose from, really. There might be a few dishes. Today, there are, on the Gold Coast, seven 100% mm. vegan Places that I know of. Do you want to name them? So oh, I could you, rattle if, them off from, if you're from <laughs> to the Gold yes. Coast. So and guys, you would like to start. Here's if you're coming to the, <laughs> this is this is Harry Bowman's 2016 guide <laughs> to, to vegan eating at the Gold that's, Coast. That's, I actually did a post on Facebook about that just yeah. a couple of days ago, and a lot of people shared it. Yeah, cool. So um, it, 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 and I named it exactly that mm. Harry Bowman's 2016 guide. Mm. So. My favourite, number one, is called Greenhouse Caf uh, Greenhouse Canteen, I was going to call it mm -hmm. Cafe. Greenhouse Canteen, and that is at Miami. And um, these guys came on the scene about three years ago, 2014 I think they came on the scene, and they basically just changed what we were used to with vegan dining out. I mean, they came on the scene, uh, Natalie, who uh, owns a place, runs a place, uh, she just, you know, lifted the standard, and we suddenly we're all going, wow! <laughs> this, this food is nothing like we've had before and the desserts are amazing and the main meals are huge and there's good value for money massive meals, they're very yeah. massive meals very creative i mean you know it was like wow so that is that is my number one pick and that um, used to be in cool and gas when it's just yeah. moved used to be in kira or close to cool and get it in kira, okay, in yeah. kira and that is that's just moved about four months ago to yeah. miami and at the moment it's only open for dinners mm. um but that will be um in the future, possibly expanding to lunches yeah. Uh, yeah. like they used to do. So, yeah. so that's number one. Number that's two one. has to be Mandela's Organic Arts Cafe. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If you like good pizzas, and who doesn't, <laughs> that's got to be the, uh, the spot to go because the cashew cream on the pizzas yeah, is just... Yeah, I love the oh, nut just, cheeses. You've yeah. Got the, yeah, the nut cheeses. You've got the creamy mushroom. You've got the margarita. You've got the, the pumpkin, rustic pumpkin, mm -hmm. and about seven other pizzas are fantastic. And desserts. Great desserts. You've got the waffles if you go there for breakfast or for lunch you've got the waffles there you've got the um, tofu scramble or tofu omelette I'm not sure which one is called I think, I think they have both they might actually yeah. yeah you've got beautiful outdoor garden yeah. area 
Uh, very laid back. It's yeah. very laid back. You've got lounges you can relax on inside. They have live music. Live music's you, good. You have Kid friendly. Tuesday nights, twenty dollars all mm. you can eat pizza. Yeah. You go there on a Friday or a Saturday mm. night. You, you think you've taken a wrong turn and walked into a nightclub. There's everyone. Mm. <laughs> it's packed. There's everyone all <laughs> live music going. There's everyone dressed to the nines. So that's uh, and it astounds me because I go there sometimes and I nearly pinch myself. I think. This place is packed mm. and it's 100% vegan. Yeah. I, I, don't, I don't think I even imagined maybe five or ten years ago that we would be mm. having this sort of yeah. situation on, on the coast. It's yeah, just, it's true. It's a dream come true. It's fantastic. So that's number two and there's more to go. Um, it's hard to pick what I would call my third one. So They don't have to be in order. They don't have just, to be in order. Just, just so let's, let's talk about really good uh, all-you-can-eat value, which is mm. Govinda's in Surface Paradise. Now. Most of the Govindas uh, worldwide are vegetarian. Yeah. This is the only one that the owner knows of that is 100% yeah, vegan because right. the owner is vegan. Mm. So it's been 100% vegan for about two years now. $14.90, all you can eat. Mm. I mean, bargain. Fantastic. We were there the other week. So, yeah, we were there. It was fantastic. Yeah. It's just. Ah, oh, yeah, it's it's good. So and uh, and they just won the best, oh, yes, um, the best buffet, best buffet, Gold Coast Bulletin, yeah. a local magazine. Yeah. Um, they did a survey of who people in the Gold Coast thought, or what um, people in the Gold yeah. Coast thought was the best buffet, yeah. not vegan buffet, buffet. That's a good and point. Number one was a vegan buffet. Yeah. So how that's good impressive. is that? Yeah. That's that's I impressive. Like that. So. And they're another place that's always clean, yeah. friendly, lots of space inside. You can sit outside as well. Uh, you get served good quickly. Good central location. Good central surface. location. You can yeah. park close by. Yeah. Value. Value. Yeah. The food is fantastic. Yeah. It's very filling. If you've got a big appetite, you can just go and lo <laughs> reload your plate. And I think we saw that the other night with a few people <laughs> reloading the plate at least three times. It's like, I go in and just have a, a single serve yeah. uh, 990 I plate. Need I think, that you know. much, yeah, you don't need that much. Yeah, you don't need Or a 1290 did, plate. Yeah. Hmm. yeah. Okay, so else? what do we got? So, number four, let's say. Um, Easy House mm. at um, at Mermaid, which is the only place that I know of that does vegan yum cha. Mm. You go there at lunchtime, they will bring around the trays with the different yum cha dishes on, mm -hmm. and you look at it and you go, oh, that looks good, that mm. looks good. It's good value, it's it's quick, it comes out really fast, it's very tasty. Yep. If you're gluten free, you can get gluten free, yep. <coughs> excuse me. If you're gluten free, you can get gluten free options. Um, yeah. An EXO huh. noodle, my Exo. favorite. <laughs> you love the EXO. They're too hot for me. I, I just don't it's, like If you really like nice. a lot of chili, yeah. and then even yeah. I put more they chili They are nice. The EXO noodles oh, are nice, amazing. but they're just a bit too hot for me. Yeah. So I like Yeah, the, we're going there for dinner tonight. Yeah, yeah. So that, that's a one to check out. Yeah. And just close by, uh, probably about within two kilometers of Easy House, is Tian Ran. Mm. And Tian Ran's actually it's been there about years. 10 years now, yeah. I think they I were think telling me. I think it's more than that. I did ask him recently, I think they said it was 10 years. Mm. I thought it was longer. Yeah, but, I honestly thought it was that's... here 15 at least. No, but, yeah, no, okay. no apparently not. But, yeah. but they're 100% vegan. Mm. Um, again, they've probably got, the f not only is it good service, but I'm going to say they've probably got the friendliest waiter, Eric, mm -hmm. who I've ever seen anywhere <laughs> in any restaurant. I mean, he smiles at anything you say, he he's, he's always laughing, yeah. he's, he's just, he sells that place. So so well, yeah. you know, it's just fantastic. So uh, the food there is really good. We have um, actually all of these places I've mentioned. We have vegan life events at. Mm -hmm. uh, what I like about Tian Ran is that they have a function room, which enables mm -hmm. us to to sort of hire that space. Hire that space in, yeah, which is which is excellent. So so what? How many? Is, how many are we up to there? So five, so, maybe? That's five. Yeah. So okay, so we've got a place down in Tweed Heads mm -hmm. called Raw Authentic. Yeah, now it doesn't there, yeah. doesn't have big opening hours. Mm. So it's only open four days a week, Tuesday mm. to Friday, and mm. it's nine to three. Mm. But it's a hundred percent vegan. It's mm. uh, raw products, and they are very good. I I'm, yep. I have only been there once. Yep. I've had some of their cakes, and it was really really good. Very uh, friendly. Uh, I think it's a couple of brothers actually. I think that run it. Yep. Um, very friendly guys, and um, yeah. So I highly recommend there. Mm -hmm. It's a nice place. Nice atmosphere. Nice. Um, it's only small inside, but it's got a you know nice sort of vibe to it. Mm. So, so what do we got? That'd be six, I think. So we got seven is feed the earthlings, pizza, hundred percent uh, pizza and burgers, hundred percent vegan pizza and burgers, mm -hmm. at um, Ashmore. Now they were they're only a, a new addition. They've only uh, like raw authentic. They're only a new addition. Only in the last year or so. Mm -hmm. 
they are now opening more hours. They're only oh, that's good. Yeah, they're, they're actually opening half the week now. So they're mm -hmm. actually open for lunch and dinner, I think Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, mm -hmm. and also Saturday and Sunday. So, and if you like mock meat stuff, if you that's like the way to go. You, uh, yeah. I tell you what, you will fool any <laughs> um, meat eater <laughs> with the pepperoni pizza mm -hmm. because yeah. it's, it's uh, a mock pepperoni and I fooled my dad with it <laughs> quite effectively. He had no idea. And, and they, they, they are excellent thick, if you like a nice thick pizza that's a really filling pizza, this is a place to go to. Mm -hmm. so, I haven't been there. Yeah. And the burgers are, I had burger and chips one night and uh, I didn't have to eat for the next two weeks. And was just, <laughs> I, was just mass, I kept half the neighborhood, I fed them <laughs> half the neighborhood with the, the bits I had left over, but anyway. And so, when you were speaking, you actually mentioned um, vegan life. Um, I mentioned vegan that's life. That's yes. something you do down that, the Gold Coast. That is something I do on the Gold a Coast. It's, it's a it's a what's called a meetup group. Yeah. Yes. It's a it's a social vegan group that allows uh, vegan or it, you don't have to be vegan to come along. Mm, but yeah, it, there's it gives, a few non-vegan. Oh, there is. There's mm. people that are curious, ve yeah. vegan curious, yeah. as, as we call them. It's it's a group with nearly 600 members. It's run through the meetup.com site, yeah. and it's called Vegan Life. Every two weeks. Uh, we have a function, uh, we have an event, and we alternate between having one in a restaurant and one in the park. Mm. And people like the restaurant ones for a different reason to the park ones. Yeah. So the park ones. Well, you don't have to bring food, I guess. That's like right. a lot of people the always complain ones, about somebody's having cooking to make for you. And, <laughs> yeah, but then people, one, once I started doing the ones mm. in the park, mm. people loved it so yeah. much that they said, can we have another one next month? So yeah. I started doing them every month as well because yeah. it used to just be in the restaurants. Yeah. The park ones are more relaxed. People yeah. are very creative. You can come and they go. Bring, you can come and go. Yeah. You walk around. Mm. I, I try and pick really nice parks by the water. Mm. Walk around. You can bring your kids. You can bring your dogs yeah. some of the time. And it's just it's more relaxed. You're not yeah. confined in a room, you know. So there's more mingling and interaction, and, and we sometimes play sports and yeah. stuff like that. So um, vegan life. If you're on the Gold Coast, you're mm. always welcome to come along and to one of our events. And um, usually. It's on a Saturday um, at lunchtime, mm -hmm. 12 o'clock usually. Some, we do some uh, dinners depending on the restaurant that we're at, but usually we do lunches mm -hmm. and it's usually every two weeks. We basically have two a month, so yeah. there'll be, depending on the length of the month, there might be three mm -hmm. weeks between. Yeah. So, and yeah. If, if you don't have um, a local meetup group or a local vegan group in your area, or do you have any suggestions for people if they'd like to there, start it, their It own? is, I mean, it is very easy to do it one of two ways. You can do it as a Facebook group. Mm -hmm. Now, doing it as a Facebook group will be very, very cost effective. You're not going to be up for um, any fees, probably, yep. to do it that way, I think. Um, I do it as a meetup group. Now, a meetup group uh, does cost you a monthly fee to, mm -hmm. to run it. I find it more manageable. I find mm -hmm. it easier to manage the events that way, to also track the history of the events. Mm -hmm and of the members and uh, the interactions. I just find it easy to do it that way. It's, it's something that I've been doing for a few years. it's established website. People can look at different things. What people do yeah. is, is they often, I ask them how they found us and they yeah. often say, oh, we went through Meetup and we just searched for yeah. vegan groups. Yeah. And it's like, okay, so a lot of people know to do that. It's a worldwide thing. People yeah. know to do it. If, they, if they've come over here from England or America or whatever, mm. they'll actually go and meet up yeah. because they use it over there. Yeah. So they know to do it. So, but having said that, you can quite effectively also do it through Facebook. You can mm. create an event, uh, you can invite your friends, you can maybe um, create the event through, say, uh, a Facebook vegan group that's in mm. your area. Mm -hmm. So that will then invite the fr all the people that, that are in that, you that know, that group. group. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. so that's another way of doing it. Mm. And often what I'll do now is. Uh, I will share my uh, vegan life meetup event mm -hmm. onto Facebook as well, yeah. and even create just a separate event, uh, Facebook event. Yeah, yeah, as well. And so people mm -hmm. will RSVP to to one or the other, and yeah. And, yeah. and we get um, anything from a, an average of usually a couple of dozen people mm -hmm. to up to about uh, 65 is the biggest that I've mm -hmm. had in the park. And about 48 is the most I've had in the restaurant. So, okay. and once you start getting that many people in a restaurant, yeah. you the basically you've you, that's it. You filled it up. That's that's a lot of. It's very hard to keep up with it because you know you, you really can't sort of talk to everyone. But mm. people love it. It's yeah, you know, it's yeah. to be sociable. And and I also want to make a point that I deliberately choose 100% vegan places mm. because that's my whole ethics and morality is to support yeah. them, and that to me is very very important. Yeah. 
I know there's an argument um, that people uh, bring up that we should also support uh, places that are uh, having some vegan options on their menu and so forth and it can be argued that that is uh, a viable thing to do. If you're, I believe if you're, if you're in an area where there's no other alternative mm. but say some vegetarian places that have vegan options, fine, by all yeah. means do it. I just think we are very, very fortunate here on the Gold Coast to have these 700% vegan places mm. and I want them to survive, I want them to thrive. Yeah. The food is fantastic. These guys are fitting in exactly with my ethics. Mm -hmm. So this, these are the places so that I want to support. Yeah. So I support them. That's understandable. Yeah. So. Um, and Harry, how long have you been vegan? 36 years. Mm, long time. Congratulations. Yeah, it's, thank you. Right. 20 years myself. Well, so congratulations. We're, oh, thank you. So we're, you know, vegan yeah. veterans. We are. We've seen it all. What do you need to yeah. know? <laughs> we've seen it all. I remember the days before the dinosaurs and the invention of electricity. I don't remember that far back. No, no, no. It's, it's not in your time. But, but it's certainly, um, people say, occasionally when I mention it, and they say, wow, yeah. it must have been so... Well, even 20 years ago, yeah. you know, you know, I mean, it was like you were the odd, odd man out. Mm. I mean, it really is yeah. almost like, it's like a sort of, almost like vegan heaven now. Yeah, when, when people know, uh, well, at least they know what plant-based means. They know what plant-based you know. is. Yeah. So many people know about it that it's, what, the most searched term on Google or mm. one of the most searched terms yeah. or something. Um, Australia is actually the, one of the highest rated countries. I think actually I heard the other day uh, that it was the highest rated it's, country it's for vegan searching. Yeah. 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 And yeah. there's so much awareness. But a lot of people are, There is yeah. so much awareness that, yeah. that what we have in, in, in 2016 is, yeah. excuse me, we have a lot of people um, so aware of it that they're searching for it. Yeah. We have a lot of businesses so aware that it's such a growing market mm. that they are putting vegan options in yeah, there. Yeah, which is always good. We have a lot of other businesses so aware of it that they are 100% vegan or have gone 100% vegan. For instance, Govinda's surface that I mentioned earlier mm. was vegetarian yep. and went 100% vegan. Charlie's Raw Squeeze in mm. Brisbane now has, as of next week, five 100% vegan shops. Now, they were uh, vegetarian, uh, I think. I'm not actually. I thought they were always sure. vegan, to be honest. No, Because the gal that started it, she's yeah. vegan, so I thought they were, but yeah. Well, this is, this is what I'm told. Um, yeah. Now, there's another one, Raw Authentic. I mentioned Raw Authentic. Yeah. They were vegetarian. Yeah. and went 100% vegan yeah, as that's well. Good. Mm. What, and for some of these places to do it, it's only had to be a really small change, but it's a, mm. but it's a significant change, mm. and it might just be cutting out the dairy milk. Yeah. And that's that's what Raw Authentic did. Mm -hmm. uh, in the case of um, Govinda's, they, would, they were almost 100% vegan for yeah. about a year or so, and all they had was one drink in their fridge, the, uh, was it the Lassie, the Lassie yeah. yes, which had dairy in it. Yeah. And then they got Govinda, removed that. Oh. They make a version of the Lassie now that is uh, using coconut or mm. something in there. Uh, the owner was telling me about it. He, he did describe how it was done. I don't remember the finer details now. but um, So, yeah, it's like, it's reflecting, and you know, I mentioned the owner then, it's reflecting the ethics of the people running mm. it, you know. And this is, um, this is why I want to support these places, because yeah. these people are on the same page. Yeah. You know, you'll find, normally, usually, you will find in a 100% vegan place, the people behind it are 100% vegan themselves. Mm. It just makes sense. That's yeah. why they have a business like that. That is definitely the case with um, Greenhouse, uh, with Mandela's, mm -hmm. um, Tian Ran, Tian Ran um, Easy with, House, I um, Not completely sure yeah. there. Um, with uh, Raw Authentic, mm -hmm. Um, with Govinda's and uh, you just mentioned with Charlie's Raw Squeeze that mm. I didn't know that. I think, yeah, yeah could okay. be wrong. So, so yeah, you've got yeah. a reflection of, you know, that's, um, yeah, that's mm. that's where the person's coming from. They want a business that is that way too. Yeah. It makes perfect sense. So, um, so back to why you weren't vegan. 36 yes. years ago. 36 years ago, yeah. When people didn't yeah. know about all this stuff. Yes, yeah. Why did you originally Look, decide to be vegan? I didn't even know I was going vegan. Yeah. I mean, I didn't know that word. Sometime later, I knew that word. What yeah. I was actually doing was trying to solve a problem as a 16-year-old uh, youth that had very, very poor, bad acne, like what mm. I call acute acne, bodily mm. acne, facial acne, very mm. bad. And I was looking for an answer to why I had mm. such bad acne. Um, I'd been told by the doctors it wasn't diet-related, and for a mm. while I believed that. Yeah. I actually thought that was the case, and I tried other means. And basically, I discovered that it was diet-related. I read a book that, that very clearly uh, 
told me that that's what it was mm -hmm. and I believed it so strongly that I immediately overnight changed from mm. uh, eating meat to going onto a plant-based diet. Yeah. I mean, I couldn't have called myself vegan then because I didn't even know what it was, mm. but I went, went on to what was a raw plant-based diet. It was so drastic uh, mm. a cleansing and such a powerful cleansing for my body that by the end of one week, all the acute acne had gone. Wow. It only took one week one and it week was gone. One week was pretty impressive. And it was, yeah, in fact, within the first mm. two days, most of it cleared. It just yeah. took the, the other rest of the week to get rid of the last little bits. Mm -hmm. And I was so, I became so aware of the way my body was functioning. I did more research, I started fasting, stuff like that. And I was also aware that my body was very, very sensitive. And I think this applies to most people. Mm. Very sensitive to even minor things being put in that aren't good for it. Yeah. And I found I inadvertently, early in the piece, inadvertently ate a, um, like one of those sort of uh, muesli sliced things and it was held together with honey. Mm -hmm. So it was, and I didn't realize that. Mm -hmm. And uh, and I had this, and the next day I broke out in a massive skin eruption, a massive, mm -hmm. actually got a massive boil from it. Yeah, from wow. the, and I thought, yeah. what did I have that? And I was yeah. like, oh, it's yeah. the honey. It's the but sugar content. People say honey is so great. <laughs> It's not great, look, it's not great for the bees, for the poor bees, when you research what happens to the bees and the amount of mileage or kilometrage that they do mm. for a small amount of honey, yeah. um, for the, uh, when the bees are um, harvested, the queen bees get killed, mm. uh, either accidentally or deliberately, um, there's just, it's just use and abuse again, unfortunately. Yeah. Even when beekeepers say, oh yes, but we, mm. you know, we love our bees and we look after them and, and, uh, and all the rest, at the, the bottom line is it's still exploitation yeah. and taking away what is actually bee vomit mm. because that's what honey and, is. And it feeds you know. them in the winter months. And it feeds them. Yeah. So, and we're taking still this away enough. from them yeah. in the same way that the dairy industry is taking away the, the milk from the calves that should mm. be having this milk from their mothers. And it's, so know. when did you find out about, about all that stuff? Like you, you found out about you know the fasting and the raw stuff yes. was good for you so, at 16. Yeah. What, what was the... I think that came a lot later actually yeah. because um, definitely I was very, very health oriented in yeah. the early days um, and I was actually, I, I, never, uh, I never did any type of drugs so I never smoked or tried any type of drugs. Yeah. I tried alcohol a couple of times, again my body could not handle alcohol yeah. and so, so I stopped doing that. Mm -hmm. So I was very health oriented. It wasn't until, um, I'm not really sure when, I can't, I can't yeah. say when, but some, somewhere further down the state, I, I had a love for animals, mm -hmm. um, but then my, my awareness increased. And I've actually got to say, in recent times, I've been on Facebook a bit over three years, mm -hmm. my awareness has increased thanks to social media oh, wow. so much mm -hmm. in the last three years mm -hmm. that um, it just feels like this massive explosion. Mm -hmm. And I've seen this explosion happening not just with myself because mm -hmm. I'm reading about the awareness increasing for so many other people. I'm yeah. seeing all these restaurants opening up. It's like the time is now. Yeah, and yeah. you know, mentioning like that three year thing, mm -hmm. I'd love to know, does anyone know out there actually, what happened in about 2011? Because I've noticed there's so many vegans or so many people that mm -hmm. went vegan around mm -hmm. 2011, mm -hmm. 2012. When was, um well, that was the uh, the big thing in America then, wasn't it? That was 9/11, wasn't it? 2011, September. Mm. Was it? Was that it was happened? before. No. Oh, was it before then? Okay, no. I'm, I might be mixing dates up. Like oh, yeah, it could be. Too. 97. Sorry, it was. It was no, no, not 97. Jeez, we got no dates. 2000, 2000 or 2001, I reckon. Ah, uh, that's right. Well, I was way off on the dates. Yeah. Yes, yeah, no, it was. It was a lot further back. Yeah. So yeah, but I do look. I want. I I've noticed the explosion. I would say not since 2011, I would say since, I'm a bit uh, I'd say 2013 or 14. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I noticed oh, yeah, it, cause but what it are we up to? Yeah, we're 2016. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No. So I think it's... So what's happened then? Well, basically, Harry Bowman got on Facebook and then once he did that, well, that was, it was, <laughs> oh, yeah. game's over, you know. Well, um. a lot of it is very social media focused. Like, you say three years, I've yeah. been off Facebook for three years, so I find that amusing. <laughs> maybe that, and, maybe um, that's yeah. what it was, you went off Facebook and everyone went, oh, Lee Chantel's gone on Facebook now. <laughs> Personally. <laughs> now I we on, can come back. Yeah, per, <laughs> no. I no longer have a personal profile yeah. on there, but still yeah. have the pages. Yeah. And um, yeah, I feel like there's a lot more social media interaction. Maybe that's when Instagram started. I wonder if uh, Instagram probably has been around that long too. Yeah, the funny thing is, for me personally, I didn't go on Facebook 
with any intention mm. of no, I, with, I didn't go on mu with much awareness actually of, of the vegan thing because yeah. I'd never been on Facebook. I heard a couple of people mention that there were some vegan groups on there and that you could um, you could get invited to meet up through Facebook. Yeah. I heard that and I thought, oh, well maybe I should get on and see mm. what's going on there because mm. I felt I was missing out because uh, there were people going to restaurants and, and I was hearing about it afterwards. I'm going, how did you guys know about this? Yeah. I said, oh, it was on Facebook. Oh, okay. So mm. I, I joined Facebook, but I actually joined, really, actually joined for a social reason. Yeah. Uh, to to have friends and contact in a social aspect. Yeah. And initially, that's what it was. And I was sort of doing what a lot of people probably do on Facebook. Initially, they sort of talking about their life or whatever, mm. and they're just sharing with their friends that way. Then I think maybe two years ago, for me, mm -hmm. it really started to sort of dawn on me the power of it, and mm. um, to really start pushing the activism yep. side through social media because I was just seeing so many other people doing it and I was just being woken up so much mm. myself and now I think through social media what we have now is activists that are going out into places with cameras uh, and filming things and immediately sharing it on social mm. media and waking up the world. Mm. For instance, what I was talking about uh, with you earlier about um, the video I was watching about activists going into a, uh, a chicken yeah, the egg, uh, egg, egg production uh, plant, I guess. Uh, do you know the actual details? Egg I, something. I can't yeah, remember I the remember website the, now. But so they went I'll in. I'll put it up. These activists, 21 activists, yeah. went in with the cameras. Uh, they filmed it. It's and I'm watching it. Mm. I think two days later, mm. through Facebook, and seeing the incredible bravery of these people mm. and the awareness they created. Because we're talking about the egg industry, where they killed all the male chicks within, well, less than a day. Yeah. Um, and you know. What did, what did, if I think back to my life, pro, me personally, prior to social media, mm. I if it came up maybe on YouTube or prior to YouTube, there would have been very little chance of, of me seeing anything yeah. like this. And and here I was, a vegan that had been vegan for decades, and yeah. I wouldn't even be seeing this, and it mm. wouldn't be reinforcing the need yeah. uh, to be taking such a strong stance. So you... Know. you that's sort of, you know, a question I ask people a lot. So you're saying you've been vegan for a while, you know, mm. sort of all the facts or whatever. Mm. Yeah, so you well, still think it's... I'm still learning. I, I yeah. would definitely not say that I know all the facts. No way. Okay. I am still learning. And yeah. I have learnt more in the last three years through social media than I would have learnt in all the rest of my vegan So history. even some so. of the vegan stuff that exists, we still yeah. need the vegans to say it. Definitely. Yeah, and we still need to be reminded of it. Mm. Because yeah. what we happens? We forget sometimes. We forget, and also, we get as we get, we, yeah. I might personally become complacent because yeah. for me it's my life, yeah. you know. But I know from interacting through my different groups and meetups with other people that people sometimes come up with um, little, what's the word, excuses mm. for. Well, they'll say, "Oh, I need I need protein, so I'll start eating eggs." Or they'll, or my doctor said to do this, or something yeah. like that, right? Yeah. And if you throw in their face, uh, "Do you realise what the egg industry is doing?" Mm. Or "Do you realise what the dairy industry is doing?" Sort of thing. You throw this in their face, and suddenly it's like, "Oh, how can I support that again?" Mm. You know. So yeah, the constant reminder doesn't go astray. If there's if there's going to be always this possibility that you're going to be watered down a little bit in your in your in your strength and that you know i think i'm fortunate that i'm very very hardcore in it i'm just mm. to almost you know almost extreme in it but it's just i've seen the power of of the change that happened for me in my health mm. and then it became over time it actually became a spiritual thing for me it mm. just made sense on a le on so many different spiritual levels we're talking karmically uh, what we're doing to the animals will come back to, on us. As you sow, so shall, shall you reap. Mm -hmm. um, that's coming back on us, and, and it's coming back on us environmentally mm -hmm. because of, the, of uh, yep. just what the animal agriculture industry is doing. It's just affecting us so badly environmentally. We can't keep running from it. When you get mm -hmm. to the point in 2016, or it's actually it was last year, 2015, when the UN is saying, you know, it's coming, and, and it, uh, when that happened, when the UN is actually advising people to not eat meats because of the carcinogenic um, possibility the effect. And I'm thinking, well, that's pretty big because mm. I have never known, I mean, personally, I've never had much faith in yeah. the UN. They tend to mm. just go into countries and not do anything, yeah. you know, when they're called on for assistance. And I was always very disappointed in their lack of action. That was so. the World Health Organization that said that. Was it? Um, 
process that, to make was carcinogenic similar but, to asbestos and that's right. cigarettes. Le, uh, level one or level two, I can't remember. I'm I think sure it's about level that, one. But it's like on the same. Yeah, it's either level that. one or level two. But some There's of level the level one, um, two, and two A, and, and some of the paleo people have disagreed with that oh, scientific what a basis of things. I've got to say, folks, <laughs> one of the things that you're going to come up against in your vegan journey is people using every imaginable justification mm. to yeah, to continue doing what they're doing, but not actually admitting what the real reason is why they're doing it because they 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 want to do it and they need an excuse to do it so they'll come up with every excuse and justification and you know the paleos don't, don't start us <laughs> don't, don't start us on paleo <laughs> otherwise i'll tell you all about it <laughs> well yeah. harry um yes. it was really good to have you on I the I people of certainly Eden. feel like i've been had no no i don't good, i think <laughs> I know I can say that to you. <laughs> I don't know if I can say it to the, the people watching, but I can say it to you. I don't feel like I've been had. I've, I've enjoyed talking to you, and it was very went very quickly. Good. So, yeah. yeah and so thank you for um, make sure me. you check out Harry on his Facebook channel. Please which do. Loves. Please do. Please tune into the to the the Vegan Hour because um, and and ask your questions and and yeah. educate yourself as much as I'm educating myself. I'm learning every week yeah. as I'm doing it. Yeah, that's good. So. And yeah, have a look on his YouTube channel as well for videos. And yeah. maybe you might want to get interviewed for him, his um, vegan hour one send day, me, or you send know me someone a who private would message. interview. Yeah, they please. have to be able yeah. to get to the Gold Coast. Have to be able, if you're on the Gold Coast and you want to share your story yeah. and and you think it might be interesting, then yeah, please. Yeah, yeah we would love to have you on. Thanks so much for joining us, Harry. Thank you very much. <laughs> and um, see vivalavegan.net for more interviews with inspiring vegans.